Hello. Welcome everybody. Week three. Thanks, Ray, last week for uh, for your great talk again. Um, Things are a little bit different this time around. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about um, some of the walking technique things. Michael did an awesome job the first week, um, and we're gonna integrate some of those things, but but also things that are gonna help. We we'll use with walking to help our running technique, and that, that are going to be integrated. And next week is the power of the run walk, which is a way that we can uh, we can utilize a lot of these techniques um, and kind of put together the walking and the running as we build towards more running, if that's one of your goals. Um, so that will be integrated into next week's talk. First thing I want to talk about, and this is important for people coming in, are kind of the rules of minimalist Mondays. Okay, um, there's four rules. The first one is, is kind of goofy, but it's uh, the first the rule of minimalist, minimalist Mondays is you do talk about Minimalist Mondays, all right? Referencing a, a, a local artist who uh, wrote Fight Club, um, which is a, a, Portland, a Portland movie, but uh, spread the word, uh, let people know not just about Minimalist Mondays, but really about your experience as you get in more contact with the ground, and that's what I'm talking about. As you get in more contact with the ground, feel what you feel and share it with people and, uh, and kind of spread the word. There's a lot of good that can be done um, Ray's been doing this for 14 years. I've been doing it for a handful, and uh, and a lot more people need to hear it. So you guys, coming from you guys, can be a lot, can be a very powerful voice. Number two is run or walk in your own footsteps. This is super important. Um, this is why we don't do like everybody does a three three mile run after we go. People can break out for runs and walks. I think that's great, but everybody's at a different place. You got to be where you're at, and you're going to be where you're at on any given day. Every run you do is different because you're different on every day. Every step you take during that run is different. And so being aware of where you're at, suppressing that ego, is probably the most important rule. So run or walk in your own footsteps and not in anybody else's. Um, number three is less is usually more. Um, whether it be less heel strike, less stride length, kind of mechanical things, or uh, less attachment to what your outcomes have to be. Um, Less is usually more. With our breathing, we found out a lot, uh, last time that actually less breathing can be more efficient for us. Um, same thing with our running. Um, if, we are, if we are kind of bringing things down, making them as lean and compact and minimal as they need to be, that's, that's how we can be our most effective. And number four, um, for our rule number four, we talk about uh, enjoy the practice of running. This is something that um, I hope people enjoy running. I hope they re recognize it as a practice. It's not an end point. You get to week 12 and you're like, yeah, I got it, I'm done. Um, Kobe Bryant works on free throws every day. Uh, Tiger Woods you know, goes, to, goes, to the, uh, goes to the driving range every day. He knows how to play golf, but he still works on it. We walk every day, but we can walk more skillfully, less skillfully. And it's a practice, just like a yoga practice, a martial arts practice, a meditation practice. Um, if you have an end point idea, then um, that's not really true to what, what our experience is here. So if you enjoy the practice of running, it'll be with you forever as an enjoyable thing. Those are, those are the four rules, and I think that's important for, as a framework. Um, but let's talk about what, we're, what we're, uh, the goal is today, is to work, begin working on our running technique drills. Um, if you're already, already out running, you said you ran a little bit um, this time, go out and just feel what you feel. And uh, ideally, everybody's gonna be their own best coach. We hope to equip people to, to use their sense of the wisdom in their body, in their feet, in their mind, in their hearts, to let them know what they should do, okay? Um, so let's, we're gonna get a little bit of experience today. And the first thing we're gonna do is, is, is talking about kind of getting a sense of our interface with the ground, okay? So I'd like everybody to stand. We'll have two drills that we'll do today to work on how we interface with the ground with running. Kind of broken down into pieces, and we can play with these different pieces. So everybody stand basically uh, with their feet underneath them as close as they feel comfortable. So get them as close together underneath your center of mass as it feels comfortable for you. We notice our big toe is right underneath our center of mass. If an alien came down to earth and, and, and never seen a human before and you ask them which is the strongest toe, they'd probably get it right. It's located conveniently right under our center of mass, our big toe. So we want to keep that underneath our, our center and then I want you to soften your knees, okay? So this upright running posture with soft knees, this is how somebody's running. When they're running, their stride, they're here, this knee is soft, it's bent, it's flexed. 
And that's what we want to mimic, those joint angles and those positions. So the first thing let's do is let's kind of let the, let the, let the, feel how the ground, the earth, can kind of cradle us. Soften the knees until you start to feel it thicken up a little bit, kind of in a hammock. And this is where we want to play a little bit. This is, wants to be a comfortable, relaxed position for us. Okay? Good. Now let's just feel our bones stack up on top of each other. Let the knees break forward and back. So let's not think about up and down, just think about the knees forward and back. The bones sitting on top of each other. This should require almost no effort to let the, the knees slide forward and back. The bones are just stacked on top of each other. We may be having to go up and down, but don't think up and down, just think forward and back with the knees. Feel how your ankles flex and extend as your knees go forward. Now do the same thing, different quality. Now kind of go up and down. In your mind, we're doing almost the same thing, but now we're going to be working a little bit more with our quads, kind of pushing up and pushing down. Let's go back to the previous one and just let your knees go forward and back. So qualitatively, we can do something that's very, that's very uh, different in quality, but it looks about the same from the outside, and you can experience a little bit of difference here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this to our soft top, okay? Uh, running posture position, nice, lovely, upright position into our little hammock of the earth supporting us. The sky is drawing us forward, drawing us upward, and we're just going to kind of go into a little bit of a hop. Try to yield. Feel where your body wants to tighten up. Is it in the quads? Is it in the calves? See if you can let that go. Let the, let the earth catch you at the bottom and use that natural rebound. At the jo same joint angles that we get that joint angles, we get that natural rebound when we're running. All right, stop. Good. So just take a survey and where, where did where do we start to feel that? Anybody? Joints, muscles, shins a little bit. So shins. He got a little knees, feet. So kind of bottoms of your feet. Ankle. Ankle. Okay. <laughs> Ankle. Um, how about you? Kind of in your calves, right? So. Um, Get a sense of where, of where you kind of felt that and see if we can, see if we can soften. Now we're going to go too soft. And this is, this is going to be a theme. We're going to kind of go, want you to play too much on either end and feel what's too much. And then we know the where we want to be for us is going to be most efficient somewhere in the middle. Okay? So let's go, let's go down and let's go kind of too slow. Really slow spring. Good, stop. Your, your, your quads are going to get tired, your calves may get tired, it's going to be pretty heavy pretty quickly. Okay? Let's go nice and fast, okay? Let's keep everything really tight and just little, like jumping rope. This one feels better. It's kind of bouncy, we get a natural rebound, nice little spring, but our quads stay tight, keep your quads tight, keep your calves tight. All right, relax. Our impact's also harder, you may feel the ground a little bit more underneath your feet. So let's try to find that happy medium where we're not really leaving the ground or just barely, a millimeter, two millimeters. Coming back down in the same spot, our balance is in, in check and we're, we're getting whatever our natural frequency is. We have different limb lengths here, right? You're a little taller than she is, right? <laughs> and uh, so your, your, your natural frequency might be a little different. Some people are are a little, their tissues are a little tighter, some people a little looser. Find, find your easy frequency um, on your own. And we're, we're all going to be going at little different frequencies if we find our, what's going to be right for us at this moment, at this day. Okay? So settle in. Start slow and just kind of play with a little bit too fast and too slow. Relax what gets tight. All right, good. Take a break. Recheck again. Where did, I, where did I feel that? Muscles are working. It's okay to feel muscles working, but the, where does it come in and, 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 and why? And just see if, see if you can change it. If it's something that you can relax and let go, do so. If it's part of the essential movement and that's where you're at, that's where you're at, okay? Um, so what we're learning here is how we're going to take forces when we're running 
absorb them smoothly and release them again, okay? Um, but we don't want to jump up and down when we're running. We'd actually, like any runner, they have a, their head pretty much stays on a level. You see sprinters, they're running, their head's on a level. Uh, long distance runner, their head's on a level. Not wasting energy going up and going down. Um, also our feet, how they're coming down to the ground is very similar how it's going to be with our running. Balls of our foot. We're doing, we're, we're doing basically all the different motions in running um, in one drill. So in this drill, I want you to think about releasing your foot from the ground and setting it back down like a towel. Like if your shin is coming off up here, you're just going to peel it off the ground and set it back down. All right, so this is our switchy drill. Same running posture. Feet as close together as they feel comfortable on the ground. Sink into the earth. Let the earth hold you. Good. And let's just start with our right leg. Shift weight to the left leg. And then just start to peel that up to the end of the big toe and back down. End of the big toe and back down. So the weight still remains all on that left foot right now. And I want you to try to go end of the ball of the foot, then up to the end of the big toe, break at the ball of the foot, and come on back down. So let that, let that big toe get in on the action. Let it feel that slide of that joint of that big toe, come up the ball of the foot, as you keep peeling, finally it gets the message like that towel. Same thing on the way back down. Now hold that big toe tight and come up as one piece and back down. Tighten up that foot. And then now let's go back to the towel or the wet leaf of peeling that toe and letting it break on the way back down. Good. All right, now we're just going to alternate sides, just the end of the big toe and back down. Coming down to the soft knee, that right? I mean, yeah, exactly. So they, we stay low, we stay centered into the ground, break at that big toe. So it's that last thing that gets the message as you go progress from kind of heel to the end of the toe. That's where we release from the ground. Good, okay. Now we're going to bring this up a little bit higher into our switchy position, which is ankle right next to our knee. This is similar to our running position as we're running through. Our knee is soft. Our ankle bone, if you're bony like me, you can <laughs> hit your ankle bone right against your knee bone there, and your ankle's relaxed, okay? So let's just kind of come up into that position and set it back down. We can do this a few different ways. We can push our foot off the ground and point our toe to the ground. Let's try that. Kind of almost like you're jumping. That's interesting. Let's try to lift our whole foot up as one piece. Lift the toes up by keeping the bottom of the foot flat. That's interesting on the other side. All right, now let's stay in our position, soft knee, and just relax the ankle and let it, it just hang there. Let it release from the ground and come on back up. All right, good. Shake out that left side. Let's try the right side a few times. Every footstep that you take is going to be different for the rest of your life. And as you kind of get into how they are and what your body needs at that given time is where the practice of running comes from. And we can keep it interesting for the next 50 years for us. Good. All right, now let's go side to side, switch. Once the heel touches, then exchange one foot for the other. Peel forward off the other toe. Peel forward. Good. All right, good. Take a break. Um, so that interface with the ground is, is, that's where the forces come from basically with our running. That's why it's so, uh, kind of a, such primary importance. And it's something that we can change right away. We know that we can change our foot contact impact forces through our shins 25-30% with technique right away. We can't change our body weight 25% right away. 
all, everybody here wouldn't want to. We're all fit, and you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna decrease our 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 weight, but we can decrease some of the forces that are unnecessary. We're peeling away those layers. So let's go to um, a switchy. You may we may just start at that heel switchy exchange. But um, if you want to try um, what's going to be more like running, which is a single leg support switching one to the other, come down into running position and we'll bring it up to speed. So this one, as soon as that foot touches the ground, that toe touches the ground, you're going to pull the other foot off the, off the ground. So that toe closes the circuit. Hey, Chris. So that toe closes the circuit and then you peel up. Good. So let that toe Close that electrical circuit, and then that sends the peel. Good. Freeze. Check in. Check in with your ankle, your knee, your foot. Is it floppy? Come on back down. If you're starting to fall, don't turn that into a switchy just because you're losing your balance. Show control the whole way down, and then peel. And you can get that release from the ground off the end of the toe more quickly as you go. All right, check it out. That's beautiful, you guys. Well, as I look around, what I see is like everybody's in their little nether space, which is exactly, <laughs> exactly what I love to see when people are there kind of like doing this goofy thing with their feet in the round, but every, nobody's looking like at each other and like, you know, this and that. They're kind of in their little realm. And that's the realm that, um, that uh, Ray and I have talked about a lot where you kind of, when you find it, it's just, uh, you, know, that's, you're, you're, you can access this place with, with running and with lots of other things, but with running, that's just a beautiful, beautiful place, which we hope to be able to get to a little bit more frequently. So, soft tops and switchies, one minute of each right before you go running. One, try to do it every day, even if you're not running. If you can't run, oftentimes you can do these drills. Um, if you have an injury, you can still oftentimes do these drills. Work on the quality um, of how you're interfacing with the ground. So everybody, let's do, let's do 10 seconds of soft tops. Find your space. Mix in a smile. Go to your inner place, yeah. All right, come on down. Switchy. Good. All right. So that's those are the drills. Um, and then when you're running, and you're, especially if you're having a little bit of struggle, try to think about those things and see if you can tune those knobs of how soft those knees are going to be and how you're releasing that foot from the ground to help make you feel better when you're running and, and find that what's going to be right for you at that given time. Does anybody have any questions? I know that was pretty exhaustive, so <laughs> I can't imagine you would have any questions. Does anybody have any questions about this stuff or about their, uh, anything that they did over the course for Ray for last week? Um, or over the course of this week with their walking or running or anything like that. Um, so that's it, that's it. Um, good to see you all. I love up running, I love running. I love up running, I love running.